going to Guatemala, baby. Ah, it is 7:26, and Ricardo and I are preparing to go hike a volcano in Guatemala tomorrow, pretty much. Well, not not tomorrow, tomorrow, but like the day after we land. Our flight leaves at 11 p.m. We're getting there at 6 a.m. and then we are gonna spend the day the next day we're hiking the volcano, which is all gonna be documented for our Edith and Ricardo channel. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go subscribe to our couples channel, and then I'm gonna be showing you guys our whole vlog of everything else. Let's go. We got our bags all packed right here, and then I am gonna take this neck pillow with this backpack we just bought that north face backpack it is the best big backpack here is the airport ootd i'm wearing some gymshark leggings nike socks this my fam sweater that has like the really big hoodie that you're supposed to use for traveling and stuff so i'm gonna take advantage of the perks today on the airplane and then also i actually had a injury to my foot yesterday <laughs> oh my god i still can't believe this is real life recorder and i were messing around and i was running through here and i hit my toe on the corner of the bed so my pinky toe is literally so purple right now and i can barely move it but i was like how am i gonna like literally cancel my trip a day before we leave so i am pushing my way through it hurts but it's like a pain that is manageable i'm only scared about the volcano hike because that is gonna be a mission on its own i can't imagine like a mission plus like a half broken toe so that's gonna be a whole deal on its own but other than that the trip should be pretty fun i also put a shirt underneath because if i have to take my sweater off people um won't see my titties we're getting it right from my parents Let's go to the airport! We've made it past security. Now it's a waiting game to leave on our flight. I'm so excited. Off to Guatemala we go. Feeling, sir. Oh shoot, sorry. <laughs> On the bright side, my toes feeling all right right now. This is our first look at the Guatemala airport. It's 5 a.m. Barely gonna start our day. We slept like one hour. We gotta go, go, go explore the city of Antigua. Look, we're gonna be climbing this tomorrow. That right there. <laughs> We're leaving our stuff here. <clears throat> We're not entering our hotel till 3 p.m. And it is 7.33 a.m. But for now, we need to look for our bathroom and what is the second thing? Pee. Go to our first adventure. Oh game. yeah, first adventure. First adventure. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna take a little break so I can tell you guys about Gims. Gims is sponsoring this video, which I am so happy about because you guys know I've been obsessed with Skims for a couple of months now. All of their pieces are so soft, so stretchy, and so comfortable. Even when I was like traveling, like in this video, you just wanna feel comfortable at all times ever since i started using skims bras i genuinely don't even feel like i have anything on normally all of my bras are like a skin tone kind of color and today i'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone i have this black one that's like kind of a plunge bra it's push-up this bra provides support but it also like keeps my shape it's super comfortable and makes the girls sit super nice so i am obsessed it's also invisible underneath clothing so not only can i not feel it but you also can't see it. it is like a plunge bra so it looks really cute and different from my normal one i usually wear the t-shirt bra in the color sand i believe anyways if you guys want to get your hands on skims bras and the fits everybody collection click the link in the description box we have sizes available from 30a to 46h and you can also get free shipping on orders over 75 dollars and like always please let them know i sent you guys after you place your order select youtube and select edith on the drop down menu that follows thank you skim so much for partnering with me on yet again another video it makes trips like these possible for me so let's continue watching my guatemala trip Explore guatemala, everyone. we dropped off our bags and used the restroom now let's go look for something to eat for breakfast we have to also walk to the rental spot also my phone's not working or your phone's not working so how are you gonna get how's there? your phone not working it doesn't give me directions 
Are you sure it's this way? Off of GPS? Yes. <laughs> it's because my phone's not like giving me directions. So we're just like raw we're dogging like it right now. <laughs> Alright, let's hope it's this way. Um, to the right, right? <laughs> right? Let me to the right, right, right? Good, good. Will you get yes. us lost? No. Okay. Good here. All right. This way we shall go with two chocolate chip cookies and a banana bread. Back in town. Let's try out this banana bread we just bought. We're at the ATV tour because we're going to do a tour. We're starting with the bang. We literally dropped our stuff off. Big bang. And walked here. <laughs> you just turn to put on the backpack and... Oh, you got rocks in here or what? Yeah, for sure. Orange juice, baby. Tears. Boing, it falls. <laughs> we had to take our breakfast to go, but dude, this smells so good. That has run is so delicious. It's yours, meow. Yeah. Okay, let's see, Brecky. Here you go. Are you an asshole? No. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do an ATV adventure where we go to the mountains, get chocolate, and go to this place called Obitenango, which is like kind of based on the Hobbit. Close the tap. Close the visor. Right there. <laughs> Shitting my pants, I'm not gonna lie. I've never done this before. <laughs> Ricardo is out there being the first one. How was it, baby? Our first stop was a chocolate factory in Antigua. Fun fact, Guatemala is actually considered the birthplace for chocolate by the Mayans. They showed us how the cocoa pots work and all the process that is put into making chocolate starting from the cocoa pots, roasting them, breaking them. So here, she's already in the last step. She's in charge of this process. Okay? She's already peeling the cacao beans by by one. Cacao beans, cacao beans. She's really fast. She's good at this job. And this is this thing. You can make cacao tea with this. We use everything. We use everything. You like it? You like it or you want? Yeah, you need sugar. You need sugar. And then going through all the processes. I learned so much through all of these tours so i'm so happy we stopped here they also gave us like a chocolate infused tea as well as some wine and some honey tasting and we were off to our next tour can see the five volcanoes that I mentioned. Right now it's cloud in there, but behind those clouds, that's the Pacaya volcano, the small volcano here in Guatemala. The Agua volcano, then in the middle one, that's the fire volcano. Next to it is the Acatenango volcano. Of course I'm gonna do the swing. Nah. What do you mean? We're in Hobitenango. We gotta get on the swing. Wait, so Look how beautiful everything is. It looks straight out of a movie. The volcanoes are over there. And then there's this iconic hand that we need to go take pictures at. Oh, look right there. Let's, let's take a picture right there. All right, we're gonna go take pictures at this Hobbit hand there is. Really iconic, but we don't really have anybody to take pictures of both of us, so we're gonna have to do singles. Yay, we found it! It's down there. Oh my gosh, how exciting. First, we gotta make it there without falling. <laughs> oh my god, this literally looks unreal. We'll see 
how those pictures turned out but it was so cool and then the girl took some pictures of ricardo and i so make sure to check them out on the gram if you don't follow me on instagram go check that out this is such a huge park we have two hours to eat and to like check it out i don't think we're gonna have enough time but everything looks unreal the mountains <laughs> look fake i don't even know how to explain it and i feel like the camera doesn't do it justice it looks like it's crops but it's also really green and then the volcanoes are out in the distance like you can literally like the mountains are volcanoes guatemala is filled with volcanoes ah oh. Wedgie? Another one. Another this one. This view is gorgeous. I'm saying, like, it literally <sighs> looks so freaking fake. And, like, the camera does not do it justice. Hell no, it doesn't. We're gonna go on to the next activity, baby. Let's see what there is to look. One thing I will say, there is a lot of hiking and climbing stairs and everything. We're going that way. Oh look, baby, it's a little zip line. Where's the tire? I'm not getting. I'll get on it here. Hold this shit. I don't think it's safe. Cardo's gonna go off of that tire. How are you gonna go on top? Does it have a weight limit? Hey, there's hammocks right there. Okay, that was anticlimactic, baby. My turn. <laughs> Please don't fall back. I just put a foot up. No, 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 no. Put your one foot inside the tire, like that. There you go. And then just hold up. Hold your body up. Two. Come on, baby, you got this. Anticlimactic. <laughs> that was fun. That was so fun. We found a perfect spot to chill, but I'm low-key getting hungry. It's fresh in the shade, but in the freaking sun, it literally kills you. And we didn't put sunscreen on today. Whoopsies. Let's chill on the hammocks. I want to lay on the hammock. Don't fall and roll. <laughs> You're rolling down. Please don't fail me. Oh. Oh. You need to try it. Too this cozy, baby. baby. Oh, yes. I'm staying here for the rest of the time. Ah, straight chilling. The weather is so nice. Can you guys believe this is Guatemala summer? What? Perfect here. The only thing that during the winter time, I guess, it rains a lot. It's not that cold, but it does rain a lot. <laughs> Which, by the way, right now we left LA and it has been raining for the past like four days non-stop. Which is so nice to see the sun here and get a nice breeze. Cardo and I are going to play a survivor game right here. We need to make the little wood chunk go all the way to the other side, but it's like different sizes. <gasps> Did you make it? Look at that. Cheater. My turn. Perfect. First try, baby. I'm a natural. Okay. Okay. Womp womp. I'm a natural. Natural. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Cardo is doing archery right now. Oh, man. The arrow stays on the bow, just in case you didn't know. Bullseye. Bruh. You suck. I'm gonna hit it in the middle right now. Come on, baby. Ooh. Ah, you got it barely on the side. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it in the middle right now. Ooh. Better than you. <laughs> wow. Can you want hit balls, eh? Oh, oh so close. Got the goodies. Let's eat. I can't believe I actually got bullseye on that. Me? No, I wasn't bullseye. It was pretty much bullseye. No, you didn't even hit the target. Not okay, even relax, <laughs> relax. It is lunchtime. We got some seats here in this little oh, terrace. They said we got some nachos. Some, <laughs> some nachos. <laughs> nachos not pictured here. <laughs> it literally, I can't stop saying that. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. The view over there, and then this way too. And then the terrace is like pretty empty right now. It's all to ourselves. We have a private terrace for ourselves for lunchtime, baby. The nachos. Hopefully they're good. We got some chicken nachos. Only because Ricardo wanted them. What did you want? To be honest, I feel like I'm still kind of like starstruck that we're here. Not nervous, but like nervous. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like I have a little bit of like a pit in my stomach. I think it's because of what we're gonna do tomorrow, hiking the volcano. I don't feel prepared and I, I'm just scared about my toe. So I'm not that hungry, but I know I have to eat because if not, I'm not gonna have carbs in my system for tomorrow. I feel like after we get that done and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well. I feel like after that- You're gonna feel so relieved and so relaxed. Yeah, like I'm gonna feel so relaxed. So the rest of the vlog is gonna be 
more chill be enjoying the vibes right now i'm just so like hesitant to like do anything feel really tight about everything this spot that we just spent like two hours exploring it's a huge spot it has a swing we did archery we did like the pictures all over the place it's so beautiful actually i think we needed more time to explore like the whole thing we got on the little hammocks this is the last spot for the tour that we're taking right now i think we might go somewhere else. are you sure no i think we finished off here are you sure yeah ricardo actually <laughs> took a video on our way here so we parked our atvs in i don't know like some spot like kind of far from here and then we got in a truck and drove here how long would you say the ride was babe 15 minutes oh shoot it was 15 minutes like 15 minutes okay 15 minutes right here and we got in the front part of the truck because of the back part like the trunk was full so we were like inside actually the truck and i just like laid on a colonel's shoulder and i fell asleep for a little bit it probably was like five minutes mm -hmm. but i feel like that little nap gave me the energy i needed because we only had probably like a full hour of sleep last night our flight was at 11 it was four and a half hours but we were awake for half of it and then i fell asleep Ooh, gracias wow that looks amazing you know this is an appetizer is it yep <gasps> that's so much cheese cheese, cheese pool <laughs> Wow. I think you should take this bite. I think I should too. Oh, <gasps> so cheesy. Oh. Mmm. It looked like it was bomb. Oh my god. So good. 10 out of 10. Tell me something. We're going downhill now. But we're just making sure not to use the brakes too much because they're all over heat. So yeah. Let's go. All right. And we are done with our ATV tour. We just made it to our hostel. We actually ended up getting an actual room here. We opted for not doing the hostel only because I am just so picky with the restroom. I actually have to use the restroom so bad right now. I know that's TMI, but with the hostels and stuff, you have to share kind of like the same living quarters and the same bathrooms. And I didn't want to go the more like cheaper route. But that wasn't something I could not compromise on. So we ended up getting a room with a bathroom. And it's actually super cute. We paid $60 the night for this hotel. We're also going to come back. The last day that we're going to come back to Antigua. We're staying in this hotel again. A different room. But it is so beautiful. Let me give you guys a quick room tour. It has no fan. We are literally... Look at me how red I am. Ooh, we are super, super hot. Because we were like running up the stairs. And like we were coming back from the AT ride and everything. But without further ado. Let me show you guys the hotel room. Plus a lot of mess. Because we already brought everything in. Ta da and we got a special guest over there airing their tummy because it's so hot <laughs> but look it's the so bed cute. is so cute it has a cute headboard it's like pink with really cute designs and then so is the comforter super cute cute chair we got one of those fans some sort of like little chair thing so we can put our suitcase look at this mirror i that want one of these so for my casa it's pink it's giving that girl we're gonna do our makeup here and then there's like i just love like the different colors there is i know i would never do this in my home but like when i go out i just appreciate the bright colors so much and then like the patterns and stuff colors once again i haven't even seen the shower restroom thing okay turn the light on Ooh. this reminds me of my grandma's restroom he got the green sink and green toilet plus the bar soap thinky holder Ooh, another little mirror okay, okay. The shower in the window that leads to the common area we are in desperate need of showers sleep it is 4 p.m but i think we're gonna call it a day because we've literally been up for all day long but that atv tour was so freaking fun i'm glad we got to explore the city we got to hear a little bit about the history taste some cacao what else do we do see the beautiful views and the hobbit the Nago. Say it right, Edith. Was literally breathtaking. I love that so much. What you got to say? Damn, bro. You are sweat. Okay, let's I go need shower. Like a ice plunge. You really do. Tough, let's go give you an ice plunge. Go ahead. <laughs> As you guys know, this Guatemala trip was specifically a trip that we planned to hike the volcano. So the next day we woke up at 5 a.m. and started our trek to climb an active volcano that we of course had to vlog for our couples channel and the video is actually already up. So go check it out. So you guys can see the whole experience. It was such a mission, but it was so worthwhile. Views were mesmerizing. We spent the night on the active volcano. Then the next morning we hiked down and took a shuttle to Lake Atitlan and that leads us to now checking into our next hotel into our hotel in selena we're looking for a room it is 123 we already got lost and i think we're lost again no it's 115 i think we're definitely lost but this is a really nice hotel 
Oh yeah, look. Oh, so pretty. Little nice fountain. Oh. Hi, bub. Thank you for taking our bags. Mm -hmm. We had to literally walk like a mile to get here because our freaking shuttle left us. Supposedly so they're doing. Oh, actually, maybe the construction's over here. How she said. <laughs> we got. <laughs> We're doing parkour right now. We're gonna have to walk through the street, babe. Roll it smooth. Anyways, we made it safe. That's all that matters. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's like the last one. Wow, they have like these, what is it? Like gate doors? Should be this one. You better get in here. <laughs> the other way. Lefty Lucy, baby, come on. Sorry about that. Oh. Welcome to, <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Yeah, leave the key outside, baby. Can you turn on the lights? What do you think? Touch the button, don't touch the button. Touch it, duh. Twist the button. Twist. <gasps> Shit, isn't that? Twist it. I did twist it. Twist it more. It wasn't that. Is it this one? Oh, I think it is that. It has to. Because there's a lot of them, huh? Yeah, you have to oh, twist yeah. it all the way. See, you're a weenie hut junior. See? Okay, but they're going to have a fire alarm in the room. We booked a hotel, or it's a kind of a hostel ish type vibe. Mm -hmm. um, in. What is it? Oh, Lake Atito. <laughs> and this is our room. Pretty nice and pretty yeah. spacious. You know what was smaller? Where we slept at in the Mount Volcano. The last clip to this one, we skipped the whole last day. You good? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the bathroom. Ooh, good lighting in here. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh. And this is nice. Fire alarm? Okay, it's really hot. We need to turn on the Yeah, we need to turn the bit on. What do you plan on doing for the first time here? I'm hungry and I'm sleepy. They have a restaurant now. Yeah, let's go to the restaurant. They have a menu. It's a massage, baby. Ooh, look at this big ass TV, babe. Mini fridge. But look, we have to pay for them, bro. Look, Coca Cola 15. You thought it was. Pringles 40 quetzales. This shit's tiny. Eh, eh. Okay, with that bed, though, it looks really good. It looks really good. Well, we're going to make ourselves at home, figure out what we're going to eat and stuff, and enjoy the rest of the night. Like I said, we just came back from the volcano. We hiked like 12 miles or like probably like 14 yep. in the last two days. Had not much sleep last night. We hiked for a total of like 10 hours. We hiked for a total of 10 hours. I haven't really ate much. Can you guys see how skinny I look? Skinny! I haven't eaten like fucking three days. We haven't because we've been so stressed, sleep deprived, nervous, and volcano. Yeah, my tummy's been like really like, ugh. Yeah. Let's figure things out and make our Guatemala stay really good take back what i just said two seconds later ricardo tried locking the door and he got the key stuck now we're stuck inside the hotel room and we can't go anywhere to eat for real babe press this button press this button <laughs> <laughs> stop but really man at least we're not locked in here right oh it has to be sideways <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> Back to the first thing I had said. Ricardo got his burger and his fries. Look at you, baby. Here are my wings. Fries burger. Dig in. Ricardo, we're gonna get ran over. We're literally trying to get to a, some sort of supermarket. But there's no sidewalks anywhere. Walking next to the. He's warning us. He's honking at us. He said, "Get out the way." Right, we gotta go that way. Let's Dude, there's no the sidewalk. <laughs> Maybe I don't think we're supposed to be doing this. Okay, there was somebody walking right there. These streets you walk everywhere. They go around you. This is a tip tip right there. There's one right there. Look, another one. There's literally another one right there. I'm already out of breath. Oh, there's some people walking this way. Fine. Fine, babe. Fine. Oh my god, we found a sidewalk! I know, literally, look at this mountain. Anyways, I feel a lot more safe. Tuck, tuck! Tuck, tuck! That could have been us in it! Ricardo's making me do a whole ass workout here. Is it maybe that the altitude here is different? I mean, we're high still, so... This is how I felt in the volcano. Baby, yes. how far is the supermarket? About five more minutes. Oh my! Bienvenidos. Sit down on the parada de bus. Give me a light. Give me a light. Here the bus is coming. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an asshole. Okay, there, my break's over. Let's go. We made it to La Torre Supermercados. Oh my god, let's see what snacks we can find from Guatemala. Oh, look who found a cart. 
Bro, come here. We need to get your aloe vera. Show my bird, bro. Be careful. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, nice. Okay. I think it's really cool to see all of the different cereals like other countries have. Hershey's. Hershey's. Oh, yeah, that's the one that I was showing right before I got my ass whooped by a basketball. We have these back at home. <laughs> Would you look at that? Look who's letting me put this big old water in here. But you're taking Thanks, the bro. backpack. No, I'm not. We just paid 200 catalis for all this stuff. Only because Ricardo paid 80 for a gel for his sunburn. But everything else was like 100. We got so much snacks so that we we're going to- we 20 bucks basically for all this? For my stuff, yeah. For everything. For my stuff. The gel was not part of my Please, stuff. Stop. <laughs> we randomly stumbled upon this. But literally the lake is right there. Oh my god, the oh volcano's god. behind that. My phone's not giving it justice though. Wow, so pretty. And there's a volcano right there. Wow. Yeah. This is the little port that takes you to all of the different I wouldn't say because they're not islands, but like the other cities that are around the lake. So there's that San Juan, San Marcos. Those are the only two I remember. Do you remember any other ones? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. We found the Pe Papa Pepino's Pizzeria. <laughs> this is kind of part of our hotel, but it's like a little bit far away. Or it's like around the corner. Yeah. And it's also right next to the dock we were just at on the other side. We're gonna get pizza. Okay. okay. I'm done. A good picture to finish off. We're at the end of the dock. Like literally the best vibe. It's kind of private because it's part of the hotel and there's no one here. <laughs> we're stuck here, baby. We're about to order a pizza from here. Oh my god, it smells so good, babe. And look at this view. This is the perfect way to end the night, huh? Don't finish the coke! Don't. <laughs> Ricardo's a freaking tank. Back really fast. Ricardo and I have been big lazies today. No, it's 7:30. For the past few days, we've been recording for our couple's channel. Um, but today is actually our last day in Lake Atitlan. Um, we actually have been having a lot of fun. But stay in bed a little bit longer today. What do you think, baby? We need to get up soon. But I think I'm gonna stay in bed a little bit longer. Well, I think we did our rent. Well, you tell me when to get up, okay? Ricardo's the biggest lazy butt cheeks. Our luggages for the meantime while we go explore a little bit more of the lake. All right, we're picking them up after. Let's go. Está comiendo, amor. Oh my god, it is. Look at that one. Look at that one spread open. Legit, as soon as we walked in, there's these two butterflies just like playing with each other and drinking some. Nectar maybe? Is that what they drink from a flower? So cute. It is just kind of like jungle vibes. There's a waterfall I want to get to and a bridge here. It's a pretty big park and it is 1120. We need to leave by 3.30. So we have a couple hours to explore. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at that blue one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look, look how beautiful it was. Oh my gosh. I had no idea a place like this even existed. It's literally magical in here. <laughs> so many cute butterflies. I love the blue ones. All of the little cocoons here. Oh my gosh. Babe, look, you can see the butterfly in that one right there. Where? That one. The head? No, it's like the wing. You know what I'm going to go to? You think it'll be worth it? I don't know. You tell me. Fuck, I'm hot. I'm sweating. Tell me something. It might just take the pain away. Pretend this never happened. Oh, hell no. This shit looks sketchy as fuck. See, I've been thinking. 
Oh, oh. I'm going first, okay? Okay, you wanna take the camera? We're gonna cross this hanging bridge that looks sketch. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm gonna grab one for dear life, okay? Ready? Okay. We were dead ass going the wrong way and like completely wrong way. We just did this whole hike for nothing. Your eyebrows are coming off. Oh. I can see like a dot of sweat. Oh my god, because I'm sweaty. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go all the way back and all the way around because on this map it's really blurry. But we were going through this yellow path this way and we were supposed to go through the orange one, I think, or the blue one. She's an island girl. <laughs> just kidding. My hair is so tangled. Can we get a good aesthetic picture for the thumbnail <laughs> with the camera? This Toby boy just came down and he was a good boy. I told him to sit and he sat down. And he speaks English apparently. Down. Oh, fucking way. Good boy. He actually went down. <laughs> no, fuck them. You're not gonna give him anything. Oh, fuck. But I don't know what his diet is. What if he's allergic to something? Oh. Uh -huh. We're in our hotel's lounge. We're gonna play some pool. We bought some lemonade. Let me kick Ricardo's butt cheeks. These are our last moments in Selena. This is the hotel we stayed in. It was so nice. We're leaving back to Antigua for the night, and in the morning, we're leaving. We made it. Let's go. We're getting our luggages because we're getting dropped off at our next hotel. This is a new one, the Yellow House, baby. We're back. The same one from the beginning. Our room here is a lot smaller than the first one. It did have this like little sitting area there that we covered just closed because you can see to the outside, but it's really cute. Um, and here's literally just the bed and a barely any space to walk. The bathroom is right here and the shower right there. Hopefully this one has hot water. Actually, the first day we the stayed here, because we we Selena did not have hot water at freaking all. We were showering with a water, water bottle. <laughs> we actually bought shin noodles at the supermarket in Lake Atitlan, and we're going to make them for dinner right now because we don't have anything to eat. Or we might go to a restaurant. We'll see. We'll look around. But we're going to rearrange our luggages, eat, and go to sleep. We're going to eat a water for our dinner. <laughs> Shin ramen noodles for the night. I've been actually craving this for like since we bought it. Which is I saw them. 